every one, two, G, G, A, mouth to P, that's me, woohoo, yeah, and today guys, we are going to show you how to merge any vehicle onto your RC, mods and all, tires, paint, all that good stuff, alright, so for starters, you will need a arena workshop with a Benny's mechanic, if you want to select your specific tires you want, and you will need an RC Bandito, of course, and you will need a vehicle that you want to put the mods from and put them on your RC. And I'm going to use this monster truck because if you use an arena vehicle that has bennies, you are able to change the tires on them as long as you have a bennies mechanic. And in order to have a bennies mechanic, you need to renovate your workshop. So you got to go back where you bought it, you got to renovate it, and it'll give you at least three mechanic options. You can buy all of them, just one of them. It's really up to you. So, let's get this started. First of all, you will need this here job. So I will put the link in the description for this job. Uh, in order to bookmark this job, you will need to sign in to Rockstar uh, Game Service on their page with your PlayStation account. That you have to do. If you can't do that, then this glitch will not work for you because you will not get this mission. And in order to make this pop up, because some people don't have it, you want to pull up your interaction menu, go down to hide options, go to jobs, and as you can see, mine's set on custom, but normally it should be on hide, because, you know, that's where all the normal stuff is. This is also how you put up all your, the little blue missions spread it, spread it across the whole map. So there you go. See, that's how you get it to pop up. So you want to go to custom, and everything should show, and that's good. And as soon as you have all this, you are ready to merge. So, first of all, let's get in the monster truck and steal the mods. Yes. So, you simply want to change one thing on the monster truck, and that's it. But if you don't like the tires, we might as well change up the tires. So, let's go to the wheels and wheel type. And as you can see, boom, we can do Benny's wheels. And as you can also see, the unselected white also stays with each vehicle so it does not matter which one you pick as long as you keep the color the same so let's see what do we want on the RC yeah, it's not I mean, it's, it's a little RC so I mean, we don't want too crazy I don't know why but that just looks okay man no, no. see those really really tiny and <laughs> that'd be kind of cool so we're gonna pick those Half cut, alright, and then as you can tell, the wheel color is still the unselected pure white, nice, pretty, and you can change the tire design, this doesn't matter, as you can see, it's already selected, so it does not matter if you change it. We're just going to go to the retro white wall to match the regular wheel color, and the smoke is already unselected, so we don't got to do that, tire enhancement's all good, alright, and the wheels are ready. We're just going to double check it. Yep, this thing is all clean. We got it. We got it. Yep, okay. So, perfectly. It's a nice, all clean vehicle. We're going to throw on the RC. So, we have a fully clean RC. That is the point. And now we change something. We're going to hop out. Now, you guys could have just changed, like, the brakes or something if you didn't want to change the tires. But I'm showing you guys how to get your very own custom tires on your RC. So, now that we have that under wraps... This is going to be a little bit harder. So I've noticed they've actually decreased the, see the space here? So it will not work if you just walk up to it and do it. As I will show you, I'll stand right on the edge. Boom. And like, as you can see, it just sucks me into the job. It doesn't change anything. So I learned you have to walk up to it. So if you walk up to it or run up to it, boom. Oh, nope, see, it didn't work. I pressed it a little too late. All right, so run up. Boom. Nope, didn't okay. work. You got to do this a couple times. It's not, it's not as easy as most people make it seem. So you walk up to it. Did it do it that time? Nope, it didn't. Okay, so we just got to do it a couple more times. You just want to walk up to it. Nope, we gotta make the job pop back up. There we go. Alright, so what you're trying to do is you're trying to enter the RC mode while you're still 
while your person is still in the job. So it glitches you out of the RC mode and throws the mods on there. So let's try this. Nope. It's all good. It might take you guys a few tries. I'm showing you guys that no one's perfect and it will take you a few tries. So, what's up? See, it keeps getting confused between one and the other. So let's see, maybe we can access it right on this corner. Okay, bye bye. Okay. Yeah, no, so no, they, as, as I said, you know, they patched the circle around where you can access this. So it's a little shorter than normal, so, but it is possible. Oh, nope, did we get it? I think we got it. That looked right. You know, we got it, and I don't know what happened. Ah, hold on. I think if you go into the job, it might take out your mods. So let's just let's change something on now. this again. What's it going change to the be? brakes, steal the mods, exit the vehicle. And let's try it again. Let's walk up to it and press right on the D-pad. Nope, didn't work. All right, so just in case, we're going to change something on this again. So it's a very touchy job. It really, really is. We make her and I'm not 100% yeah. sure that it does take away the what mods after I, I change it, but I am not taking any risks. Because it should have glitched it out when I hit it. Oh, there we go. Yep, so you got to walk up to it, and right, as, right after you step out of the circle, boom, you got to press it. It's literally like a hairline edge that you have to press it. But once you do, booyah, that is the result. You get a nice, clean, fully modded RC. It will take a few times, as i shown, because they did patch the circumference of the circle. You are able to access the RC. And if you understood that, good for you. If not, well, basically, they just made the circle smaller. That's all they did. <laughs> And you can't really move this unless a new job is made. So you just got to work with me. But there it is. And as soon as you do, you want to go to it and you want to customize it. So I want a fully, you know, badass car. So I'm just going to, you know, upgrade everything. And let me check if, you know, it actually transferred all the clean stuff. Yes, everything is good. Nice and clean. Proximity mines. Oh, let's do kinetic. You know, we got some money. You guys don't, you know, don't have to do anything. You can just change something simple and stupid. You know, I kind of like that. Oh, that has mesh on it. What the heck? You know what? We'll take the window mesh. I'd rather have green window tint on the RC, but I don't think that's possible. Wait a minute. It is. Oh my god. It is totally possible. We got freaking green window tent. Okay, we'll just keep it like that. That is actually pretty cool. It transferred the green window tent. Awesome. So we're gonna keep that. Go back. Uh, Leah, I don't want, really want the livery because you know we want cool paint job showing, and it already kind of has a livery. All right, and yes, the windows are green window tent. That is awesome. All right, well, there you go. Oh, I don't really need explosives. I can throw bombs out of my RC car, which I should make a video for you guys. Probably pretty soon. It's actually really easy. But that is it. Boom. We customized it. We got it all done. We don't need this thing anymore. It can go back to the garage. And we have a fully modded RC car. Well, guys, like and subscribe. GTA Master P. And I am out. Woohoo. Peace.